my experience with musicians, I always think of musicians as a working class type thing. You make the deal, you play the gig, you get paid, you pay your band, you go home. If you're lucky. <laughs> Ellis Marcellus, is, as long as I can remember, has always been a respected name um, in the jazz community around New Orleans. You know, when I was even in my teenage years, his name would, would ring around the city. And people had, had a lot of respect and reverence for him, his musicianship and his, him as a man and as, 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 as an educator as well. So many people, they come from one bag or another. This guy sounds like Herbie. This guy sounds like Chick. This guy sounds like Kenny Barron. Right. But when you hear somebody who's got that breadth of knowledge um, and then sounds like himself. He has he has a signature in his playing, you know, and, that, and that's one of the things that musicians, I think, strive for, a recognizable sound. See, when I was growing up in the earlier years, there were people being expelled from schools from playing jazz. You know, he's educated some great musicians, um, from his sons Winston and Bradford, of course, and Delphio and Jason, but then also with, with Harry Connick and, you know, and um, Terrence Blanchett and Donald Harris. It's hard to imagine how many people's lives you've touched, but the, the I don't know. <laughs> the, the, guy, the point is that you you give it away. The knowledge you have isn't yours to keep. And that's what makes you a great educator. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, Grandpa. How do you feel at 79? Probably like I'm going to feel at 80. <laughs> a happy birthday, a greeting, and now the music of Mr. Ellis Marsalis. Yeah. 